Hello everyone. I am so happy that you're here with me today and I am going to show you something that I get asked a lot. How do I curl my hair? Well, as you can see now, I just got out of the shower, I put on my makeup, I'm all ready, and I'm ready to curl my hair. And I've had so many questions and I just think, I don't know, you just curl it. You know that, right? But it occurred to me that not everybody knows like how I do my hair. So I thought I would share that with you today and show you just how simple it really actually can be. What I wanna do is start out with shampooing and conditioning my hair. How I just basically start off washing my hair, I wanna show you the products that I use. These products are not sponsored, I wasn't asked to show you them, but I do want to show you the things that I use because I feel like they can make an entirely different outcome of your hair by the way you wash it and by the way you style it. So I'm gonna show you those. These are the products that I use. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I use. This is the Kenra Platinum line and I'm using the restorative shampoo and conditioner. These can be found at most beauty supplies. You probably need to have a cosmetology license to buy them so if you don't have one, find a friend that does or any salon can get these for you. I also really like their Lux Leave-In Conditioner. It makes your hair feeling really soft and smooth and I apply this right as my hair. Um, before I even brush or anything, this kind of helps me brush through it. This is an oil that I absolutely love. It's Bath Pack. It's made and designed by one of my sweet friends and I put this in before I even brush my hair as well. So these two go in my hair before I even touch it out of the shower. This one is the perfect blowout. This is gonna help you blow out your hair and also it's a heat protectant from the blow dryer so this will help it's a cream it goes in on damp hair so shampoo and conditioner do these and then brush your hair and then do this and then you style like you normally would and then this is a hairspray that I really like it's kind of a medium to firm hold it's a 25 out of 30 so these are the products that I like I'm gonna go ahead and get started I have not even brushed through my hair yet I just let it kind of air dry so with less heat I need to put on it by blow drying because ultimately the heat is what damages your hair so also I only wash my hair probably twice a week some days some weeks I do it more, but I really try to put the least amount of heat on my hair as possible. That way it's not damaging my hair. I'll usually wash it, wear it down the next day. Maybe the third day is a bun day or a hat day. And sometimes the fourth day, if I can get it, I'll do that as well. It's best not to wash your hair every day too. Some of you might have oily hair and that's just something you have to do. That's fine. I don't have extremely oily hair, so I'm able to get away with it more than some. Let's get started by using my leave-in conditioner and my bath pack oil. Okay guys, I am gonna start by using this and I'm just gonna put like five or six pumps in my hand. I have a lot of hair. My hair's not super long, but it's super thick. So I usually run it through the ends a ton and then I'll bring some up through the top of my hair and I feel like it just makes my hair extra soft and helps me brush it out. Okay, so I've got that done. Backpack oil. This is my favorite. I do four pumps in my hair. Again, I have really thick. My hair is starting to get a little bit longer, so I feel like I'm needing a little bit more product. But when I style Hazy's hair and I will like put oil in after her curls, I'll do like a pump or maybe two. Probably more like one pump. Another thing I want to show you that is my absolutely favorite. You guys, this brush has been well loved. This is a bath pack brush. Same brand as the oil and it's like a wet brush but it's better. So I highly, highly suggest one of these. I feel like after I put in the oil and the leave-in conditioner, I'm able to brush my hair out so much better. And I do think that this brush is a huge component of that. And guess what? Again, I was not asked to say this. These brushes are $5. So at $5, you can have one in every room. You can have one in purses. You can have one in your car. Anywhere that you need a brush, you can have one for only $5. Okay, my hair is completely brushed out. It feels so good. Um, I'm gonna put in this perfect blowout. I'm honestly just gonna do kind of a small amount. Um, you don't wanna, I don't like the feeling of having a lot of product in my hair. So I like it to just feel clean and really soft. A lot of people like to use texture sprays. That's not me. I make, I feel like it makes your hair just feel dirty instantly. And I love my hair being freshly clean. So I don't like to use a lot of products. Another one I didn't show you that I should have is the blow dry spray. This cuts down your blow dry time by a long ways. So this one's also a favorite of mine. It smells really good. It's a little, it has a little bit of oil to it. I just spray it all over my hair. I wish you could smell this. All right, so I've got all the products in my hair. Now I'm gonna blow dry. This is the part 
and it makes it so I never wash my hair because it takes me so long. I just have a lot of hair, guys. So I usually do it in sections. I'll do a time lapse for you so you can see exactly how I blow dry my hair. My favorite thing to use when blow drying my hair is a big, giant round brush. This one is very big. This is also from Backpack. I use a couple of clips to pin up my hair so it makes it easier for getting smaller sections and getting them back under there. I don't like to have any crimps or natural curl come through when I curl my hair with a curling iron. Okay, I just finished blow drying my hair and I will tell you every single time I blow dry my hair and wash it, I'm like, I really should do that more often, but I don't. It's a time sucker. It took me 15 minutes and 15 minutes under that heat is just too long and I feel like I have other things that I could be doing. So some days I'll throw a few fresh curls in and call it good. But today I'm gonna curl it. I'm gonna curl it with a one and a half inch curling iron. This is one of my favorites. I really like it. It's Babyless Pro and I really like it. I feel like it curls really well and I love the way my hair turns out when I use it. So while my curling iron's heating up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section my hair in two different sections. I like to do all of the hair that's usually one length. My hair is a teeny bit layered. And then I'm gonna section this up on top of my head and I'll curl this after so I can get all of those fun little pieces so it kind of creates more curls, a little bit more um, of a layered look. You can see each curl. So this is how I'm gonna start. All right, we're gonna start. I'm just gonna take little sections. Um, I'll take a little bit of that. Little sections like this. I start pretty close up close to my hair and I start turning it halfway through. Leave a long tail and then you slowly like pinch with this with your pointer finger, pull it out, curl a little more, pull it out and I like to leave just a little bit left. See how I've got some hair left here? I'm gonna hold it for about five seconds. Here's the trick to my hair. I unroll it before pinching it and then I lightly pull it out. So what I have is curl through here and then the ends are a little bit straighter. I'll do it again so you guys can see. And also another trick whenever you're curling, don't curl your hair all the same direction. You wanna alternate curling away from the face and then towards the face. So I curled away from my face, so this time I'm gonna curl towards my face. When I work at the top section, I try to do more away from the face. That way I don't have random pieces of hair like trying to hit me in the face. Sometimes I don't like that, so I'll sometimes do a few more away from the face right at the very front. Okay, so I'm gonna clamp it right at the top, start turning, and you just pull on this ever so slightly to pull it out, and then give it a little bit of a turn, and you wanna leave a little bit of hair out here. This is totally normal. This will give you that straighter end look. So without pinching it, I'm not gonna use this finger and pinch it. I'm basic, I just have, I'll just pull it out, and that kind of gives it a straighter look, and then pinch it just a little bit and pull. And that gives it the look where it's a little bit curled up here, a little straighter down here. Otherwise, this would be curling really tight at the bottom and you don't want the ends curled tightly. Okay, I went through and did this whole side. I wanna show you another front, front section. It's harder to show you the back one. So again, take a small piece. These ones I'm gonna curl, the ones closest to my face, I always curl away from my face. Clamp up high, turn, and you just wanna pull on this ever so slightly, just enough that the hair can slide through. And again, I have hair sticking out right here. And then when I pull it out, I'm going to unwind it basically, but keep it kind of straight. That makes it so you don't have curly Sue curls. And then pull it just barely a little bit and that will straighten out the end. Just like that. We'll do one more on this side and then fast forward and show you the top. We're going to start most of the way at the top. I like the top to be curly because the hair loses its curl really fast. And then wind it up and have that tail hanging out. And you wanna do maybe like, I don't know, inch and a half, two inches, depending on how long your hair is. If you have shorter hair, you gotta keep it shorter. And then holding it for a few seconds and then unwind and pull it out. Makes it so your ends aren't super curly. Okay, now comes the crucial part of your hair, the front of your hair, which all of this looks great, but that's not the top layer. That's not what they're all gonna see. My hair, you'll see this, watch it, naturally parts right here. Just naturally, it just does that. So, I know where my part is, and so I need to curl this top layer. I don't have as much hair on this side of my head as I do this side. So I will show you this side really quick. So, since I have such little hair right here, I'm gonna separate it into two sections. And because I don't want one going towards my face, constantly trying to come in front of my face, I'm gonna curl both of these away from my face. Clamp it pretty high up, curl a few times, pull it out, curl. Again, I have my little tail, and then I'm gonna pull. Gives it that look. Do it again with this front guy. 
I like the front guys are the most little crucial ones because these are the ones, the front ones I also don't like super, super, super curly, so I leave these in a little less time. See how he's a little straighter? And leave it, don't brush your fingers through it while it's hot. You wanna leave it and let it cool. Now these guys, because I have so much more hair over here, by the way guys, I'm getting my hair done in a few days and I can't wait. I'm gonna alternate forward, or away from my face, towards, away, oh, towards, away. Um, I'm gonna do a few of these back ones and then show you how I do the front. Okay, I curled these back ones. I did backwards, forwards, backwards. So now, I'm pretty close to the front of my hair. So I'm gonna do a really small one and do it towards my face. That way I can still get a little bit more dimension. I feel like it just gives your hair like, it's not all just flowing in one direction, which can be pretty, but this kind of gives it a little bit more dimension. If you have hair that is colored, you can see more of the colors that are in your hair. So I did that one forward. He's just a little guy. He's gonna have a, give it a little bit of a different look. But these four, these front ones, I'm going to curl these all away from my face. So that way I'm not fighting my hair all day. I've made the mistake of curling one's close to my face forward and I literally just fight it the whole day. So I just learned it's best to do the ones closest to your face away from your face. Smaller sections will give your hair more dimension as well. If you want your hair to be a little bit more wavy, then do bigger sections, but I really feel like doing the smaller sections give it more dimension, give it more look. It also takes more time, so you also have to evaluate and see how much time you have. So, I just love how the ends are not super curly. All right, last and final piece. Again, I don't want to hold this one for too long because I don't want it so curly. I just like it to be a little bit more straight right in front of my face. And if it's curlier than you want, grab the end of it and pull, and that will straighten it out just a little bit. I've let all of my curls sit so they're all just a little bit cooler. You don't want to do this with any hot hair. Take the bath pack oil. I do about three pumps. Obviously, if you have less hair or shorter hair, do less than that and just rub it everywhere in your hands and then just take your hands and pull through your curls. I especially like to do the oil on my ends because my ends are what get the brunt of the damage from the curling iron. So I just brush all through my curls. You, After you've got most of it out of your hands, I do take it and do it at the top. Just makes your hair feel good, makes it smell good. And see, see how your curls go all different directions. They're not all just going one way or the other. If you wanna do some back combing or ratting, whatever you'll call it, I always use this brush and I'll just take a little section, brush the opposite way of your, that your hair grows. See how it just gives it a little bit of body? And then I found these really cute clips on Amazon. If you wanted to pair it with your hair, you can take a little clip, throw it in on the side, and you've got a really cute style that was pretty easy. I feel like something like this adds so much to your hair and you really did nothing more to it than just curl. So if you'd like to end it with a little bit of finishing spray, a little bit of hairspray, it's just gonna hold your curls a little bit longer. So sometimes I'll just throw it in and kind of just give it a little poof. If you're a girl that likes um, texture spray, you can throw in some texture spray, spray in here and it makes it feel, it, it, it kind of makes it feel dirty, but it gives it a lot more look. It'll hold this look longer. I tend to like the more natural curly look, just where it kind of like loosens and looks really pretty throughout the day. But if this is like a dinner party or something, I'd probably load it with product and it's gonna last the whole night and look amazing. So I'll show you guys the back of my hair real quick. It feels so good. Washing my hair is good for me mentally. Makes me look better, makes me look put together. And you guys, this isn't something that I do every day. Some days you just need to throw your hair in a bun and call it good because we don't have time for this. But I will tell you, the days that I get ready, the days that I put a little bit of makeup on, I feel my best. I feel like I act my best, I look my best. When I was a kid, my mom got ready every single day before I woke up from school and that's why I try to do that. But you guys, basically, I'm just trying to set myself up to have the best day that I possibly can to be my best. And you know what, that's enough. Like you cannot be more than your best. So give it your all every day and you guys will be amazing. But thank you for hanging out with me while I did this hair tutorial. Hopefully now you have a better understanding. If you guys have any questions, you can DM me on at Mindy Best on Instagram. I'll try to help the best I can. And if you have any questions, let me know.